Hey, Seawolves fans, we're back at Laval Stadium with Coach Chuck Priori as Stony Brook is set for its third game of the season going on the road to Richmond this weekend. Coach, second game in the books. You go to UMass on Saturday, play a tough FBS team. What did you take away from the loss? Um, you know, I think we got better during the bye week. Um, it was a challenging week because both their systems, offense and defense, were very different, but our kids fought hard. Um, I'm disappointed because I think there were certainly opportunities for us to cash in. Um, we've been way too inconsistent offensively of, um, you know, finishing things, um, some third down issues, but third down issues get created because first down you didn't gain enough yards. Um, they're not mental mistakes and they're not physical things that we can't do. We just haven't executed as well. But defensively, I thought we, we competed for four quarters and did a nice job. You mentioned that defense only gives up 13 points to UMass's offense on the afternoon. What did you like overall from their performance? Well, uh, we, we defended some tricky things and then we didn't let them trick them. We still took to our rules. We ran to the football. Um, we rallied. We made some, um, we made some plays that the week before, two weeks before, we didn't make. And, um, you know, even though we were down in the fourth quarter, um, we played it to the end. Carthel Flowers Lloyd plays a lot of snaps and continues to make an impact for you on that side of the ball. What did you see from him getting in the backfield multiple times? Yeah, he read his keys. Um, you know, he, if he, if when Carthel plays the rules of the defense, he will have several of those on a um, game to game basis. Um, he's a good player. Um, explosive player and when he when he plays the defense the way it's supposed to be played you know that guy in our defense has always been a canceler and he canceled on Saturday for sure offensively Jaden Cook steps up a hundred yards on the ground also makes plays in the passing game what did you see out of him yeah I mean um, you know 15 days into preseason he was playing wide receiver right um, had been a running back obviously prior to that but um, you know he um, He's matured as a person, first and foremost, both off the field and on the field. Um, he, you know, he was, he's always got the physical tools. I mean, he came here with some special tools, and um, I think he showed what he's capable of on Saturday when presented the opportunity. Coach, you look at Richmond, this is a very quality football team. They played Virginia very tough in their opener. They've won their last two games. What do you see on the film, and what would you like to see from your squad to go down there in a tough road environment on Saturday? Yeah, Richmond's um, very well coached. Um, you know, I think coach does a good job there. They do things, um, I use the word fairly simple on defense, but um, so we won't see the things we saw last week, but um, they do it really well. And they've got enough change-ups that they throw at you that keep you off balance. So, and offensively, uh, you know, I've got a transfer quarterback who's, um, you know, really, really, really good at this point. He's lighting it up. They're throwing for a lot of yards, um, but they can run the ball. So I think, and special teams, pretty good. I think they're a pretty complete team. You know, I thought in preseason, you know, when I did my casting of votes, they'd be in the top group of kids because of the transfer quarterback, and I think that's going to play out. Um, so it'll be a good game. Excited about it. Coach, it's a big one. We're looking forward to it. Be sure to stay up to date with all things Stony Brook football at Stony Brook FB on social media or download the new Stony Brook Athletics app for tickets, broadcast information, and much more. Coach, we appreciate the time. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you.